Hello, so uh, in this video I'll just introduce you to the hardware we'll use. First of all we'll use Raspberry Pi 3B. It's a small computer, about the size of a credit card, and it comes shipped in a uh, cardboard box. I'll just open this up. It comes with uh, safety instructions, you might want to read them if you feel like it. It also comes with a uh, quick start guide, again if you have some questions that aren't answered in the videos or aren't exactly clear, you can take a look at this. It also comes with a, a static shielding paper, it's this blue paper, and in it is of course the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi is this super small computer, it has uh, four USB ports, it also has a LAN port, a HDMI port, or HDMI connection I mean, audio jack, power supply, and this is where you later on put the uh, GPA, uh, the SD card. This is like really the most important part of the PLEAP project. Aside from that, we'll also need a micro SD card. Uh, this is uh, from Transcend and it is a 16 gigabyte card. I chose to use a class 10 card because they are just a lot faster than the class 4, 6 or 8 cards that are available on the market. Um, if you want a fast user experience, I'd highly recommend choosing a class 10 card such as this. I also chose to use a 16GB card because it leaves me with a lot of overhead for uh, future projects. Um, but in theory you can uh, install Raspbian on an uh, 8GB uh, micro SD card. Next what you'll need is this, uh, are these heat sinks. So there's a lot of debate about the use of a heat sink um, and in general I'd recommend you to use them since well quite frankly they don't cost that much and it won't uh, hurt you at all. Um, they're super easy to install, it's just a piece of glue, you pull it off uh, and connect it to the uh, Raspberry computer and uh, they help to cool the processor so what that means is that after a long day of running the Raspberry will still be a little bit more responsive without them but it's your, it's your free choice if you don't feel like using them you don't have to it's completely optional and uh, finally we'll need a power supply now I have bought them uh, since these have a longer cable it's uh, just uh, you put this in the wall and this is like the micro USB connection that you mostly know from the uh, smartphones you were having uh, it is a 5 volt uh, charge and 2.5 and amperes uh, now theoretically what you could do as a community project or something like that is to uh, ask visitors of your library to donate their older uh, phone charges so you can use them. Uh, now before you connect a Raspberry Pi to a donated um, smartphone charger be sure to check whether it still works properly uh, and if it actually uh, puts out 5 volts and 2.5 amperes. Anything less will... Uh, I'm not going to say it's going to damage your Raspberry Pi but you may run into problems. Um, so that's most that's like the most important thing. Uh, you may want to get a case um, for it. You can buy them on Amazon or other retailers, uh, but you don't have to. You can also make something yourself, like a, a sheet of plexiglass, drill four holes in it, and connect the Raspberry through these uh, yellow circles that you see on the print board. Yeah, and that's about it. Oh, before I forget. Um, this computer here, the Raspberry Pi uh, 3B, it has Wi-Fi, so uh, it's a big advantage for uh, libraries who don't want to pull new LAN cables all over the area. The only disadvantage of the Wi-Fi function is that it doesn't support 5 GHz uh, network, it only works with uh, 2.4 GHz connections. This is not going to be a problem, I presume since uh, most routers that uh, support 5 GHz will also support 2.4 GHz. It's just a question of uh, reconfiguring them or just f 
finding another SSID, some routers have a dual band. Uh, now, I'm not going to explain this dual band functionality because that's going to be different for each uh, router and for each manufacturer. So, uh, be sure to check your router's manual for that. So, that's it. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to uh, make the image for the Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching.